Hello everybody. This video is not directly related to any specific AI tool, but it's an important step for anybody trying to set up a GitHub repo locally on their computer. The reason I'm making this video is when beginners try to set up something like Baby AGI on their local computer and try to clone it like this, they might face a connection issue because they have not set up their SSH keys properly. So for example, if they try to clone that repo using this command called git clone, if your SSH keys are not set up correctly, you're going to see this message called permission denied public key. Please make sure you have the correct access rights and that the repository exists. Basically what's happening here is that GitHub cannot recognize your computer because you probably have not set up your SSH keys correctly. So hopefully by the end of this video, you're going to be able to clone any repo from GitHub and use it locally. Before we get started, if this is your first time to my channel, I want to welcome you and recommend you to sign up to my AI newsletter. I'm working on a few AI workflows that I create for myself to solve different problems and I'm soon going to start sending these out on this newsletter. All right, let's get started. So what exactly is SSH? It stands for Secure Shell. And when you connect via SSH, you can authenticate using a private key file on a local machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to generate an SSH key locally, which is going to have a public version of that key and the private version of that key. And we're going to provide the public version of that key on your GitHub account. So when you try to clone something from GitHub like Baby AGI's open source repo, it's going to recognize that public key in your GitHub account and pair it with the private key in your local computer and recognize your local machine. And then it will let you download that repo. So the first step you have to do aside from having a GitHub account ready, so if you don't have one already, make sure to create one on github.com and in your local computer, just open your terminal. Here I'm using iTerm2 on a Mac, but you can of course use the basic terminal which comes with your computer. After that, we're gonna copy this command using the email that you used to create your GitHub account. So I'm gonna paste that right there, remove this dummy email. I'm going to type the email that I have for my GitHub account. And when I press enter, it says generating a public and private key pair. And this is what I meant. It's going to create two keys. One will be private that you should not share with anybody. And one will be public that you can add to your GitHub account later. For this one, you don't really need to specify any file. You can just press enter. And also you don't need to specify any passphrase. So I'm going to press enter again. And since I did not enter any passphrase, I'm going to press enter again. All right, it says your identification has been saved inside this folder. Your public key has been saved in this file, which ends with .pub, that means public. Then you have two sets of characters, which is the fingerprint of the key. You don't need to worry about these. These are just for the computer. The next step is to start the SSH agent in the background. For that, you just copy this command right here paste it right there and press enter. Now, technically your public and private key combination has been created. And if you're using Mac OS Sierra 10.12 or later, which I am, and most of you probably will, you will need to modify this file called .ssh-config. So first I'm gonna check if this file exists already. And for most cases, if you're new, this would probably not exist. So I'm gonna first try this command and press enter. It says the file config does not exist like I expected. The next step is to just open this destination called config on any kind of editor like touch or nano or vim and it's going to get generated automatically. So I'm going to use nano instead of touch and when you open it up, you're going to have to paste this section right here where it tells your computer that for this host, like anything coming from github.com, you're going to allow them access to the private key that you have locally on your computer. So first, I'm going to open this destination using nano because that's what I prefer. And as soon as I open it, it's going to get generated. And now I can just copy this section right here and paste it right there. After that, I'm going to do a control X. That means it's going to save and exit. I'm going to press Y. That means yes. So if I go back and try to open it, this time it's going to open it up. As you see right here, instead of saying this file does not exist, I have all of this setup done. Now I'm going to add that private key to the SSH agent and store it in my keychain for my Mac. So I'm going to use this command right here and paste it and press enter. 
it says identity added. So my private key is now added to my keychain. So now my public key is ready to go. So if I do an open on the SSH folder and press return, it's gonna open up this folder called .SSH. As you see here, there's two keys right there. The first one is the private key that should not be shared with anybody. And the second one is the public key. So if I open this file using a text editor, you're gonna see this long combination of characters, which is your public key. All you do is copy it right there. And now you can close this file and close this folder. And now make sure you're logged in on your GitHub account. Go on the right and press settings. When you go on settings, go on the left and go to the section called SSH and GPG keys. It's gonna show all the SSH keys that are connected to your GitHub account. I already have it connected to my second computer called Mac 4GB. I'm gonna click add new SSH key on the top. Call it Mac 8GB cause this laptop has eight gigs of RAM. I'm gonna paste that key that I just generated, the public one, and click add SSH key. Now, sometimes it might require you to do this additional step where you get an SMS on your phone that you connected to your GitHub account. So I'm gonna click send SMS. I'm gonna check my phone, paste the code I found, and now I'm verified. As you see here, my computer just got added to my GitHub account using the public key that I generated just now. So now all the steps are done for connecting my computer to my GitHub account. So technically I should be able to clone this repo now. So I'm gonna copy this GitHub repo right here. I'm gonna type git clone and press enter. All right, perfect. Now, as you see, I'm not getting any permission issues. My GitHub repo from Baby AGI is now downloading on my computer happily and my local SSH setup is ready to go. Now, if you're a beginner, this kind of looks complicated, but it's really not. All you're doing is generating a unique key combination on your local computer and telling GitHub that you're a real person and GitHub should allow different repos to get downloaded to your local computer. And if you have been stuck on this step, like I know some people have been, you are now free to start cloning all kinds of repos like AutoGPT and Baby AGI and start playing around with it on your local computer. All right, that's all I have for today's video. If you do face any issues, make sure to add a comment so me or someone else will be able to solve it. And if you did get some value from this video, Make sure to subscribe to my newsletter and my YouTube channel and click like on this video. Till the next one, thank you so much.